Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. My name again, Jeffrey Davis. I'm uh, the host of Radio Entrepreneurs and also CEO of Mage LLC since 1985, working with 700 organizations and organizational leaders to reach new heights of success and uh, productivity. In this time of great change, I want to welcome um, our next two guests. We're going to be talking about the path to the bar, and that is quite a path during COVID, I would assume. So we're going to be speaking to Amanda Cardona and John Spagenberger, associates to be at Landau and Anastasi. Welcome. Thank you, Jeff. Welcome. Thanks for having us. <laughs> so uh, if I would have told you, I don't know when you started your path to the bar, but if I would have told you a year ago what this last year was going to be like, what would you have said to me? Would have been hard to believe. <laughs> Certainly was a lot more uh, challenging than we expected. And, you know, the bar doesn't exactly have a rep for being the easiest thing in the world. So right. it was uh, it was doubly difficult for us. <laughs> so tell us about, you know, how you had to adapt because some people might have, you know, delayed the process. I know, uh, you know, I have a son who's a professional, not an attorney, and they stopped licensing for his profession. Mm -hmm. They just closed it down. So they, I guess they're not doing that with, with attorneys. Yeah. yeah, we had the option to delay to uh, next year's February bar exam, but they also offered uh, an online bar exam, which we took at home just a few months after the originally scheduled exam. Does that make it easier to do it at home? I, I think there were different challenges. So for me, I had to think about um, there's a lot of construction in my neighborhood and I have close neighbors and I was mostly worried about noise coming from them, but at least I didn't have to commute and find the testing center on, uh, on the exam day, which is also stressful. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, I'm sorry, uh, John, you had an answer too? Yeah, I was gonna say that uh, one of the bright sides is that they actually cut the length of the exam in half. So it's normally 12 hours split across two days. And um, this time it was only six hours across two days. So for a lot of people, you know, the test fatigue is one of the most challenging parts of the exam, understandably. And so we were pretty fortunate in that respect where we only had three hours a day of the exam. But also, uh, you know, for me, it, all, it feels almost like an open book exam. If you're doing it at home, I could have had my notes beside me. Are you, you know, is that true that the sort of the standards, to, not that you would do it, John. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the standards were a little bit looser now and it was a good year to write, to, to go for the bar. They certainly didn't uh, intend for that. So they had uh, proctoring software that would monitor folks' webcams and microphones. So they actually would flag any suspicious activity like looking off the screen and flag that for a human re reviewer to take a look at. So in theory, wow. they, they addressed all of those issues. Yeah, um, we didn't have any issues with it. So honestly, I, I think they did a great job. Um, you know, who knows what was happening on the back end, but uh, from our front end perspective, at least it, it went rather seamlessly. Now, you know, through my coaching, the, probably the biggest stress and complaints I've had over the last year have been from young professionals. This mm. was their first crisis. They're worried about their parents. They're isolated. They're worried about their significant others. They can't socialize with their friends. And then you add working for an, a, a law firm, which is never easy, probably <laughs> the one of the hardest jobs you can get. And then you add the bar exam. Were you, very, were you having to deal with stress all year long? Um, I think it was always going to be a stressful year, just <laughs> with the bar exam. It was a, a different kind of stress. Um, luckily, I, I think we've had a lot of support from Lennon and Anastasi here, and that made it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Can you talk yeah. a little bit about that? Because I think culture really is important. And a lot of law firms, they forget about culture, even though it's the number one indicator for success. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, John, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that um, our firm was founded on the, the, the idea of being able to have a, a good work-life balance in a field that, you know, as you've alluded to, is, is traditionally very, very intense. Um, and I think they do a great job of that. You know, a lot of the partners here did what we did uh, in going to Sevec Law School at night while working during the day at a firm. And so they understand the challenges. And all through law school, they were very, very uh, understanding of our time constraints and made sure that we had the time to pursue the things that we wanted. So certainly the bar exam was tough, but the partners here really did an excellent job of, of making sure that we had a workload that was not going to infringe on the time that we needed to do the studying that we would need to, to pass the bar. 
Um, so I would say I could not have asked for a better culture and a more understanding set of partners to, to guide us through the, the exam. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, one other thing they've been doing ever since March when everything shut down is having a weekly firm wide call, which um, is kind of a casual um, greeting to everyone and announcements are made. And I think that's been really helpful to keep people connected, even though it's just once a week uh, while we're not in the office. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So uh, when do you, do you officially uh, pass, when you officially pass the bar and how's that going to change your positions within the, the firm? Yeah, so we passed the bar exam, but there is still a process where uh, we need to pass ethical requirements. So for the next month or so, there's a period where folks can submit ethical objections to our being admitted to the bar. So we're not attorneys yet. Uh, we won't be until uh, January at that swearing in ceremony. Um, and I apologize, what was the, the latter half of your question? Oh, how would that affect our, our status in the firm? Um, so yeah, at that point, we'll be associates in the firm. Um, Amanda, this may differ for you, I, I, I doubt it, but um, for the most part, our workload or the type of work that we're doing isn't going to change much. Um, we have been patent agents for a couple of years, so a lot of the work that we do is going to be quite the same as, as what we'll be doing once we become associates. Yeah, I also mostly focus on prosecution, which is what, um, as patent agents, uh, I would say most, if not all of our workload is prosecution. Mm -hmm. Recently, I've been able to participate in some licensing um, matters here, which is something more traditionally for associates, um, and that that has been fun. But I still expect that most of my workload will be prosecution based. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, and you know, before when you have you passed the bar, you were able to celebrate families, friends. Is that out of the question this year? For the most part, I, I'm lucky. I live with my two best friends, so we were able to, to, to have a little celebration with us. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen my family in, in a little bit, and hopefully we'll be seeing them for Christmas, but um, we'll see. But for now, yeah, the, the major celebrations are going to have to wait, unfortunately. Well, you know, congrats. let me give you a little premature but congratulations both to you, John and Amanda. But if someone's looking for you, and wants, wants to communicate with you maybe about the bar process, working at a law firm, employment, whatever it is, cases, how would they find either of you? How, what's your contact information? Uh, we're always happy to talk to people and have informational interviews. Uh, we can be found at our website, which is www.lalaw.com. Um, our phone number is 617-395-7000. And my email is acardona at lalaw.com. My email is much more difficult, but it's uh, J-S-P-A-N-G-E-N-B-E-R-G-E-R -E 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 at LALaw.com. And oh. as Amanda alluded to, uh, we get a lot of folks who, who want to know more about the field because it's not something that a lot of folks uh, who go to technical colleges know about, ourselves included. So we're always happy to talk to folks about what the career is like and uh, what one can expect. Well, congratulations to both of you on the path to the, the bar. And congratulations to Landau and Anastasi for uh, having both of you. Remind everyone, this is Radio Entrepreneurs, and we have more stories to follow.